Starting out our competition this afternoon are the recurve ladies. On target two, Catalina G. Noriega. Target one, Casey Koffold. Now, Casey Koffold, she's our number one qualifier. Uh, Catalina G. Noriega, she was our number three qualifier in that top eight by score across the nation. Um, both of them shooting for Hoyt. Of course, Casey was on the Olympic team. Um, Catalina is, uh, I think, aspiring to make the, uh, the team, obviously. Yeah, you got Casey. You know, she's been really putting in the work, and um, it's, it's been, been paying off. She has dedicated her, her life to, you know, making the Olympic team, which she has done, and, you know, winning the Olympics. So it's a full-time commitment here. So it'll be interesting to see. Um, how Catalina does against her, you know, well seasoned. Um. She came through her uh, her quarterfinal match. She shot very, very well. She shot a 30, a 29, a 30, and a 27, and then a 28. So she came out very, very strong. Uh, Casey, 29, 30, 29, 30. That was in the quarterfinal round. Um, in the semis, uh, Casey shot 28, 30, 30. Uh, Catalina, a little softer, 28, 26, 29, 29, 29, yeah. for a 6 4 victory over Molly Nugent, who was the number two qualifier. There's a 10 to start for Casey. It's a good start because you never know coming from the qualification room to the finals if you're going to have to make a slight adjustment. So Nice. And she nice. Follows up with the 10 as well. So. Now this is recurve equipment, so it's a little bit different than some of the equipment that we're going to see later. That's a liner, probably still a 10. Mm -hmm. Casey's shooting her skinny outdoor arrows. Yep. We, we will see some of the men later on are shooting a little bit fatter shaft. Mm -hmm. So recurve equipment, this particular equipment is the same type of equipment, also a tall 10, that you will see in the Olympics. Yep. Yep, these, these ladies are... Shooting full Olympic style. That one's close. That one might have the line. Um, but yeah, full Olympic setup. Um. So that scoring there, that big center ring in the middle of the 10, or the middle of the yellow, that's 10 points. Yep, that's the 10. Right? Yep. Ooh, that's an 8. When you get out to the red. It's a little wide there, but that's all right. There's yep. a lot of errors left to go. So Yeah, so you got the... the Middle ring in there is a 10, the rest of the yellow is a 9, and then... And then 8, 7, 6, yep. if you hit the blue ring, if you get outside of that, it's a 0. Yep. And in the recurve divisions, which is going to be different than what we see in the compound divisions, but in the recurve divisions, we do set scoring. Right. So it doesn't necessarily matter what you shot as a score, mm -hmm. as long as your score was higher than the other archer, you'll get two points. Right. Yep. Yeah, it's a little different, so. And it's a race to six. Yep. So you can have a terrible end. You could actually miss the target. Right. And still come back and win the match you could, if yeah. you have a couple of good ends later on. Right. Yeah, to where if it was just regular scoring, there's no way that would happen pretty much. So, yeah, right. it's, it's definitely a different, different system, but um, seems to be working quite well. It can make things interesting. Mm-hmm. And there's a there's two schools of thought on that for sure. There's there's backroom discussion constantly on yeah. on which way is the way to go there. Yeah. You may have seen on uh, on Catalina's face there. She's got a little piece of tape on her chin, and when you look at that, the the reason for that is because the string sits right there, and it's <laughs> it's pretty irritating as yeah. it as it breaks through. Well, when you shoot thousands of arrows, I mean somebody's. It's just a little bit wide to the right. I mean, mm -hmm. some of these guys and gals shoot, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of errors a day, thousands right. upon thousands a week. So, yeah, when you're doing the same thing, that's a solid 10. Solid shot. Doing the same thing like that over and over again, you're being consistent with your anchor. Yeah, sometimes it'll mm -hmm. create some irritation in some spots. Now, the interesting thing with Casey, um, and we know about this because, you know, we chat with people in the industry, uh, Casey worked with Coach Kim. That was a little bit... She collapsed a little bit on that one there, I saw. So mm -hmm. that one's to the left a little bit. But Just a couple of weeks ago, basically revamped her entire swing. Just a little 
little slide out to the right there. Yeah, I saw she was, you know, working with, uh, I believe, a Korean coach mm -hmm. the past couple of weeks and kind of changed up some things a little bit. So, I mean, it, obviously it's working. She made it here to the, you know, at the final stage. So, caught the line on that one. Oh no, she. Yeah, her second. I didn't see the miss. Yeah, on her the second, second shot. And see, that's the difference when you make it to the stage. I mean, it's anything can happen. You get a little bit of nerves, and you know, you just can't quite feel your shot the same way that you was, and mm -hmm. things like that happen. So I'm sure she'll learn from it. And you know. so instead of being a devastating 10-point loss, right? There, just what we was talking about the set point system. Yeah. All she did is lose two points. Now, yep. Casey's going to have the lead here, 4-0. Yep. But she could still come back. Like if she wins the next set, you'd be 4 2. Yep. Win, a, win another one, now it's 4 4. And I've seen that happen many a times. You think mm -hmm. it's over, but it's never over until, until it's over. And so. This is why some people are fans of the set scoring system because, right. <laughs> because you, can, you can have a problem and still recover. Yeah. Yep. Casey Koffold, a student at Texas A&M University and a standout in their program down there. Mm -hmm. The daughter of Rob and Carol Koffold, also owners of Lancaster Archery Supply. Yep. One of the uh, big promoters of the Look sport. At those. Look at those trophies. Aren't they fancy? They are pretty awesome. They, they do these amazingly beautiful handmade trophies every year for these guys. Yep. All right, let's see if she can compose herself here and a little get bit back of a in the swing. Tremble things. going on there, nice and smooth. It's not bad, a little tall, but Casey looking pretty solid. Mm-hmm. She's got this match well in hand. Yeah, that looked like a really good yep. shot. Good shot there. So I'm not sure exactly what she changed with her form. Um, it's, it's sometimes hard to tell unless you watch them you know, all the time, but um, I'd be curious to know what she changed. Well, we're, oh, nice. Solid. Got that back in. I saw her reach up and give her sight some clicks. Yeah. Oh, oh. That, what, that didn't look too she good. She didn't like that. Ah. And that's why. Yeah. Just a little bit wide right. Still a nine. So there were actually tied for this end so far. There you go. There you go. That's a 29. Yeah, so. Best possible score is a 30 here. We could be tied here, possibly. Casey's got a 19. If she hits a 10, they'll split the point, get one each. Mm, uh, that's probably. I think that's probably there. That's right on the low side. But she's been living on the bottom of that, that particular dot. She's been living on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, and it's sometimes I just saw her talk to someone behind her. They're probably like, here's your sight. Because when you're up there, sometimes you don't realize that, you know, that you just need to give your sight a couple clicks, you know. So right. now, so they tied that match. So look at a point apiece. Yep. So it'll be 5-1 now. And again, this is a race to six points. That's Aaron Micklebury there. Aaron, uh, and that, that job that she has down there is to be the advocate for the archer. Mm -hmm. Basically, the archers do not leave the stage. The judges will make calls, and uh, you've you've been an advocate, and you've had advocates work for you. Tell tell us how that plays out. Yeah, you just want to make sure that you know there's no funny business, which there's not <laughs> there's not going to be here. Certain times, depending on where you're at, there can be some funny business going on. You know, down there, you just you want to make sure you got someone that's stern and that you know doesn't let any of that go on. Just make sure everything's being called right and. If it's an edgy call, they, yeah. they you actually get somebody to look at it exactly. nice and hard, and yeah. you're you're basically fighting for your archer to right. get to get every point that they've earned. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, because like you said, they they can't see what's going on back here sometimes, so it's it's up to them to make sure everything's called right down there. Twenty seconds on the clock. She runs it down. There are seven seconds left when she just released that arrow. Just a little tall. A little tall. It is the alternating shot. That looked good. Still also tall. tall.
Catalina needs to really sink this one to kind of save that, save this match. Another miss. Just a little tall, about one o'clock. Just clicked her side a couple clicks mm -hmm. there. Ooh. Nice dead center shot. She looked nice. really smooth on that one. I heard you asking earlier, how many pounds are these ladies pulling? Yeah, so, all right, she got three nines there. Mm -hmm. so I probably, I mean, I'd imagine Casey is, you know, she's, I'll bet she's mid 40s. Um, you know, some of the top guys, there she finished that strong. Good she job. Can, so. Yep. And that'll give the so win to that, Casey Koffel. Yep, that'll give her six points in the win there, but um, good match. Good match to young Catalina there. I'm sure she, you know, learned a lot. and. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll take that away for next time. So, um, but yeah, I think they're shooting. I'm sure Casey's shooting mid 40s, and I don't know what Catalina's shooting, but yeah, it's definitely a lot different than compound. I mean, you see a little bit of shake in some of them. I'll tell you, if I try to shoot one, I mean, I'm holding like 20 pounds on my compound. If I try to shoot like 25 pounds of holding weight, I'm quivering <laughs> like crazy, you know. So it, it's tough. It just it's a lot of training, a lot of muscle memory. And in a recurve, when we talk about how many pounds of weight that they're holding, it's it's 40 pounds all the way back yeah. on the tip of your finger. So yeah. there it is. It's official. Casey, all right. Casey gets the Casey. nod. She gets a gold medal. Is this her fourth in a row? Or she won three, missed one last year, I, and now is back on top. I believe that's right, yeah. So quite the, quite the streak going there. What a fantastic match. Well, that draws this match to a close. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll be stepping aside here for just a moment and then coming back with our next match.